Practice DPE MX Die 23 Real Questions for Dell PowerEdge MX Modular Deploy 2023 Exam. 1. What is the benefit of C22 power inlet connectors on the MX7000 chassis? A. Meet higher power requirements. BC22 connectors are now standard on PowerEdge. C. Allow for higher exhaust temperatures. D. Enable linking together power supplies. Answer. A. 2. A technician has replaced an MX chassis tub. They complete the tub installation and power on the chassis. They notice that the KVM is no longer functional. What should the technician do after confirming the KVM feature is still enabled in OMEM? A. Ensure all cables connecting the tub to the left ear control panel are connected properly. B. Ensure all power supplies are connected and powered on. C. Ensure all cables connecting the tub to the right ear control panel are connected properly. D. Ensure all installed management modules are connected to the network. Answer. A. 3. An administrator is asked to install and power on a new MX740C sled in an MX7000 chassis. The administrator inserts the sled and presses the power button. They notice that the power button LED is blinking green. After a short time power button turns to solid green and the server finally turns on. What operation was in progress when the power button was blinking green? A. IDRAC was booting. B. Lifecycle controller update was in progress. C. Lifecycle controller was taking firmware inventory. D. IDRAC was updating firmware. Answer. A. 4. Where in the OMEM web interface can the chassis deployment wizard be found? A. Hardware, Initial Configuration B. Configuration, Deploy, Chassis Deployment Wizard C. Home, Settings, Chassis Deployment Wizard D. Home, Configure, Initial Configuration Answer. D. 5. An administrator has installed the IDRAC service module in the OS on a compute sled. They are unable to use its features in the IDRAC web GUI. What is the likely cause of this issue? A. OS to IDRAC pass-through feature is not enabled in the IDRAC. B. IDRAC express license is installed. COS and IDRAC are configured on different networks. D. Installed OS is not supported. Answer. A. 6. What automatically opens a support case with technical support and collects the PowerEdge MX system state information that is required for troubleshooting an issue, then sends it securely to Dell EMC? A. Open Manage Essentials B. Support Assist Collections C. Open Manage Enterprise D. Support Assist Enterprise Answer. D. 7. Which MX7000 feature allows an administrator to virtualize network WWN and MAC addresses? A. Flex address BMX scalable architecture C identity pool D virtual top of rack Answer C 8. Where in the OMEM web interface can the chassis deployment wizard be found? A. 
Hardware, Initial Configuration B Configuration, Deploy, Chassis Deployment Wizard C Home, Settings, Chassis Deployment Wizard D Home, Configure, Initial Configuration Answer D 9. A new administrator has just taken over an MX7000 multi-chassis management group and two racks of PowerEdge servers. The previous administrator no longer works at the company and is not available. No one knows the password for the OMEM interface and the default password is not working. What must be used to reset the password? A. IDRAC for one of the compute sleds. B. Left ear control panel. C. RACADM using a serial connection. D. Management module jumpers. Answer. D. 10. While servicing an MX7000 chassis a system administrator logs into OMEM and receives a chassis mismatch error. What should be the next step taken by the administrator? A. Clear the configuration. B. Reset peer or the local IOM. C. Perform firmware update. D. Force active, clear configuration. Answer. D.